everyone, I'm out here to test and review the amazing Sigma 35mm f1.2 DGDN art lens. It's a gigantic lens, and I'm shooting it on this tiny little Sigma FPL camera. And uh, yeah, it's a fantastic setup here, and we're going to get some amazing pictures with it, hopefully. Yeah, let's get out and get shooting. So in terms of image quality, this lens is extremely sharp and it produces beautiful bokeh. There is a slight issue with uh, color fringing that I've noticed in some of my photos, uh, but it's not really that bad. And in the, it more than makes up for it in how well it controls distortion and vignetting. It is overall an extremely high performing lens in terms of image quality. build quality this lens is one great big chunk of glass and metal it is very well constructed uh, weather sealed and just uh, very well built overall <music> In terms of price, this lens will set you back about $1,500, which is quite a lot of money, but it's actually quite a good value considering what this lens is capable of and how that price compares to the much more expensive lenses from manufacturers such as Canon and Sony. So yeah, it is a great value for money and uh, kind of a bargain actually. So you have a number of controls on the 35 millimeter f1.2. Uh, you, of course, have got your great big rubberized focus ring right here, which is smooth and actually is remarkably easy to manual focus. I really like that. Then you have a aperture ring right here, physical aperture ring on the on the lens. And now this is currently set in click mode right here. You can even have it set it over there to auto. But what you can also do is go over here to this to click and just turn that off and suddenly the aperture ring is completely smooth which is great for video shooting and of course you've also got this AFL button right here and then an auto manual focus switch and yeah as for control on for on lens controls this that is pretty good
this is a large and heavy lens. In order to achieve that bright of an aperture in a 35 millimeter lens, I mean, f1.2 is really bright. You're gonna need a lot of glass and uh, that means a heavy lens, but uh, honestly not too bad in terms of handling despite that. And that's probably because I've got very large hands and I am somewhat mus muscular. So it works very well for me. Uh, it is quite big compared to the tiny little Sigma FP here. So if you're using this lens on this camera, you're gonna want an extra grip, uh, like such as this grip extender, which I actually have on it. And using this, it's not too bad, even on such a small camera. The Sigma 35mm f1.2 DG DN art lens is absolutely fantastic, and I can definitely recommend it. Anyway, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you all again next time. Bye!